What up, y'all? Welcome back to She Gets a Pod. My name is Shan, aka Shan Be Busy, aka Shan Be Pod. And you can find more about me and the other pods on shanbepodding.com. And this is season 20. Let's talk honoring your vision, okay? This is episode 11. The way you begin to get better starts with being honest with yourself. Can we agree? Can we agree? You can take an old, unhealed person who has shit they won't fix, and it will not lead to betterment. It'll lead to someone fighting you on being better, okay? You cannot take old, unhealed shit with you into betterment, okay? So you're going to have to do things that are heartfelt, deep, not surface shit to get that shit correct in order to level up to some new shit. Because that's what's going to help other people. That's what's going to help you. That's what's going to make sure you are better for the people around you. Keep the idea of where you're headed in your head. Keep it in your focus. Honor it. And that's what I want to talk about on this episode, okay? Welcome back to She Gets a Pod, where I tell you like it is. <coughs> oh! That throat. that song um did you know that sometimes I purposely listen to sad music to make myself sadder I feel like sometimes if I don't tap into certain emotions I have to stir it up to make sure it's still possible to make sure I have a pulse in it um so I might be in a mood and I might be in that mood Without anyone doing something to get me in that mood. And I think that's what a lot of people don't understand about a weirdo like myself is I don't need an outside situation to put me in a mood that I'm in. It could be a thought that I'm having or an emotion that I want to work through that has me in the mood that I'm in. And I think it's super important for you to know yourself long enough to be able to explain why you need what you need in the moments that you need them for the betterment of someone else. Because sometimes a lot of what you're going through, people that care about you might internalize it and think, oh, you did something to them or something else could have been prevented when in reality there's nothing you could do you just gotta let me get through it and leave me alone while I get through it you know what I'm saying if I don't want to be bothered by you there's nothing that you can do to make me change that I have to get out of the mood where I don't want to be bothered by you if I don't want to talk to you I don't want to talk to you. Do not insert yourself in a way to force me to talk to you. Because that's just going to piss me off. Yeah, I'm like that. But let's get into some table topics, okay? There's a little dark side of me. (laughs) Little moody moody. Um, Tabletopics.com. You could get your own table topic stack to create discussion. And good discussion, okay? Good conversations with people, friends, family, or even romantic, if you into that, all right? I got the Saber Stack. If you would like to use my code, use it on tabletopics.com. Shambi Potted in all caps to get 15% off your own stack. Which foods do you dislike? I dislike bitter foods. I dislike wet um, chewy consistency foods like octopus, squid, mussels. I'm not eating that. 
I'm not eating that. It looked like somebody already pre-chewed it and you're trying to put it in my mouth. No. I'm not eating that. Don't. Don't. No. I don't care how you do it. I don't want it. Um, Next question. Do you consult Yelp before you go to a new restaurant? I definitely read reviews. I am a review reader and I am a review lever in my 30s. I'm going to tell you that right now. I'm the one that's going to take the survey and give you the real answers for real. Thank you for listening to the show. It will continue. Pump your brakes. But I just like to say um, one of the best things for me as a podcaster is to see other people's thoughts about something I shared, something I said, um, something I gave. And so the best way to do that for me is by going to your favorite podcast app and making sure you leave a review on the episode that you liked or the podcast itself and give feedback. You can do it on Apple. You can do it on Spotify. You can do it on CastBox. You can do it on Radio Public. You can do it on Good Pods. I love hearing feedback and I would love some new feedback for this new season. Um, I am trying a couple of different things and I really want to focus on what people think and why they keep listening, you know, but keep that in mind. I'll continue the show and let me know what you think. Back to honoring your vision. We are not here to just be employees. Some of us are here to be employees, but we are not all here to be employees. A lot of y'all come into work late or you don't show up and you lack integrity while you work, but you're mad and upset at who showed up and moved up. And that don't make no sense. All right. Be honest with yourself. At some point, you stopped caring. Why did you stop caring? I don't know. But you have to figure that out and be honest with yourself about that shit. When you keep your vision of where you're going, you know what you need to do. And you don't, you're not upset that someone is moving up in a space where you don't want to be. Like, the past jobs that I've had and the amount of times they came to me and was like, you're really great at this, you're really great at that. We wanted to go ahead and offer you this position where you would move up and this would be your responsibility. Eh, eh. No. No. Because in a lot of jobs, the only reason why they want to move you up or um, let you have X, Y, and Z project is so they can have someone else to blame other than themselves when shit don't go right or you babysitting another adult don't don't work out and I don't want to be on the blame team I want to be on the clock in clock out team I did my job the one that I was trained for I'm not doing nothing extra like that's where I'm at I never wanted to be the person who goes to work works comes home and work can call them and have an issue and I got to work. Nah, I'm not doing that. I don't want to take home work. I'm like that show on Apple, <laughs> on Apple TV Severance, where when you're at work, you have no memory of when you're at work, when you clock out and you just at home in your home mind and your real life and then... You have no memory of being at home while you're at work. It's completely separate. That's how I like that shit. I do not want to be thinking about work or having a discussion over brunch with my friends or my family about work when I'm not at work. Fuck work. If it's not something that I am passionate about, something that I really want to do, something that I'm happy with it, fuck work. Keep your vision where it needs to be. When you keep your vision where it needs to be, you have more follow through. If you want a new level of living, improve yourself and level up. Y'all wouldn't want to pay Netflix $19.99 each month with one screen still and commercials. 
You would want it to get better because they're asking for more. Same shit. So stop expecting better if you ain't getting better. Let's be real. Be clear about what you want. Be clear about how your vision is actually going to come to life. Are you actually putting in the time? Are you actually putting in the work? Are you setting up boundaries for people who try to take you out of that mind frame, out of that focus, who try to fulfill all the spaces of time that you have to pour in on your purpose with bullshit? Be honest, because sometimes that could be your family. Sometimes that could be your best friend. Sometimes that could be the person you love romantically. And you have to be able to be like, hey, I can't Saturday. I have X, Y, and Z. After I do X, Y, and Z, I'll call you and see if y'all still there and I'll come through. It's called prioritizing. It's called being on top of your shit. And a lot of y'all scared to tell people that you love, that you grew up with, that probably gave birth to you, that no, I cannot pick your best friend up from the airport on Sunday because I have something of importance to do. Sometimes you're going to have to say that. That's why. That's why. No, nah, but um, no, nah, we 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 almost there though. We almost there. Oh, I, I think we, I think we need another sit down. But we almost there, man. We almost there. We about to figure it out. We about to figure it out again, though. Seriously, though, I do want people to start to step out of their comfort zone and do something. A lot, uh, a lot of times, we actually have the answer, and I'm actually <clears throat> talking about myself too. We overthink it. Time, we overthink it, and we're yeah. scared. We scared. We scared because now we got to do something that we've never done before, which is for some of us, it could be, yo, you got to be not only consistent, but you got to do research now. You know what I'm saying? You got to make it, you got to make it worth your while. Like, just give it a chance because at this point. When you spend the right amount of time around the right amount of people on top of the things that they want to do on top of the projects that they want to complete by summer, by fall, by winter, by New Year's, it should push you to go home and work on your shit, to leave and go work on your shit, to study, to to research, spend time around people who are talking and doing, okay? Get up and show up without being told, be here tomorrow at nine. I got an opportunity for you. Just show up. A lot of great actors and actresses and and entrepreneurs were in the right spaces at the right time, talking to the right people, and they showed up. And that's how they got the connections that they got. They didn't just hope and pray and not do work. Y'all talking to God with empty prayers. Y'all ask, and y'all in prayer asking God for favors that you ain't even put the work in on. You want a Maserati and you ain't get your license type shit. You know? And, and, and that's how you have to look at it. Did you study? Do you know the pros and cons of this? Do you know that starting out is going to be really nitty gritty, like ramen noodle, you know, noodles and shit before you get the steak dinners, you know, canoes, sailboats before you get yachts. And a lot of people are looking at yachts, yachts, yachts. Yeah, I'm trying to do this so I can get me a yacht. A lot of y'all can't get you a yacht because you got to focus on the shit you got to do on land first. But y'all not trying to do shit on land first. Y'all just want to move to the yacht. That shit, it, it don't work out that way. Balance your time with your needs and your wants. Work will get done. Your health matters. 
so you can show up for yourself, for your family, for your friends, for the people who are going to work for you. Family can only be as good as you set them up to be. And the more people understand that shit, they'll stop focusing on the little stupid ass bullshit. The shit that don't matter. Okay? I don't want to celebrate if I know people bullshitting that's coming to celebrate. Because then I'm going to be sitting there looking at y'all funny. Like, how can you cut off the fact that you have X, Y, and Z not lined up and you over here kiki keying, eating and drinking, and you didn't put in nothing to help anyone bring this shit here? What habits are you helping set up for the generation that's looking? What habits are you getting rid of that are not working? Who is in your circle that's discouraging you from trying, from being better, for going for that project? Who is holding down <laughs> the, the shit from leaving the dock? That's how you got to look at it. Do you have a vision that you are ignoring? It, are the jobs that you keep getting not going past a certain year? Or you're not getting a certain promotion in that job because that's not where you're supposed to be. Sometimes you're not going to get what you think you're supposed to get because that's not where you're supposed to be. And every time you put yourself in a situation where you're forcing it to work, where you're forcing it to be something that it's not supposed to be, it's not going to work out. And you're going to find yourself right back to the circle of, I need a, I need a job again. I need I need a new opportunity again. Hey God, I know. I'm back at it. Another prayer. Same thing. Like, he telling you that you know what you need to do. You not doing it. And I'm going to keep showing you that this is not going to work out until you do that thing that you know you're supposed to do. Opportunities do not just happen. You put in the work, and I believe the world reciprocates the energy. Okay? But in order to honor your vision, you have to learn how to self-check yourself. Self-checking is a constant working through. It's always being able to assess the ways that you are showing up in the ways that you are not showing up. So do not be afraid of what if this doesn't happen. Believe in what life is going to be for you and not what life won't be for you. What you dwell on will happen. What you put energy in will happen. You can't have faith and fear in the same position. You got to pick one. You got to hire one and fire the other. You can't have both. So please honor your vision, but no, it's going to take work. It's not going to be given to you. And it's not something you can ignore if that's your purpose. When something is your purpose, nothing else that you're forcing around it will work. Okay? A lot of y'all exhausted and y'all tired because y'all working against the grain instead of going where you're supposed to be going. That's all I'm saying. Honor your vision. This is She Gets It Pod. My name is Shan. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to support the podcast. And I'll be back for you. Peace. Damn. She fucking gets it. <laughs>